Hey, what's up, guys? I have a quick minute to uh, discuss the Kell Brook video that came out yesterday, uh, in which he appeared to be uh, sniffing or snorting cocaine. All right. Um, how did I come across this? Uh, I'm a part of a uh, boxing group on WhatsApp, and uh, the video was shared there, and then someone in the group uh, sent me the video, all right, um, I was shocked, not, not, you know, jaw drop, uh, shocked, uh, or extremely saddened, shocked, not, not like that, um, but, uh, just kind of like, kind of like stand still, like, kind of look like, am I seeing what I think I'm seeing, like, type shock, you know, uh, I had to watch it, you know, several times, you know, for it to register, you know, so, uh, needless to say, uh, you know, as, as a guy who has uh, probably been, I would say, with Kell Brooks, number one supporter on YouTube since uh, 2017, you know, with the lead up to the Errol Spence fight, uh, I would say, uh, you know, for me, it was very disappointing. Um, you know, uh, I mean, I, I'm not really, you know, shocked, you know, extremely shocked by things, but... Um, but that, that was more, you know, disappointing than anything, man. Um, you know, because, um, you know, I, I, I think highly of the guy and have thought highly of the guy. You know, um, I, I didn't take him to be the type to, uh, you know, to be using uh, hardcore street drugs, all right? Uh, I'm certainly, uh, you know, not into drugs, don't use drugs, not advocate for drugs. Uh, I'm anti-drug, you know, so... Um, you know that that was disappointing. Um, you know uh, the guy could, could hurt himself. Uh, now at, at least he was not out in, in public. You know being reckless, and uh, you know potentially you know, you know could hurt others like you know a certain other boxer did, which I'm not gonna say his name, but you all know who I'm talking about. All right. Um, you know uh, there was a statement. I think his dad talking about uh, you know that that. It, it was a joke and it wasn't cocaine or whatever, you know, I mean, come on, man, you know, um, and you know, guys, when, when I was thinking about doing this video, I was going to say, you know what, he should, uh, he should go on Sky and just, you know, fess up to it or, you know, release a statement or whatever and, you know, apologize or whatever, but out of curiosity, uh, I looked up, I said, I, you know, I wonder what the, uh, what the uh, penalty is for uh, for doing this in Sheffield, England, and uh, from what I saw, uh, cocaine, if that's indeed what it was, is uh, a, a Class A drug, which has a penalty of up to seven years in prison, uh, or an unlimited fine, or both. All right, uh, again, up to seven years in prison, or an unlimited fine, or both. Is what I saw in my in my research. So, uh, yeah, he better keep his damn mouth shut. He better not piss up to it. Uh, I have not seen any any statements, any you know Instagram posts or Twitter posts. He's he's really he's been inactive. Uh, he was pretty inactive on his social media for like the, the last year. But um, you know he better he better not fess up to this. He better and if anybody asks him about it, he better say no comment. All right. He better hope it kind of silently goes away and swept under the rug because, I mean, this is on video. It's pictures of, of him in the background, pictures of him on a table. You know, uh, this could cause an investigation. You know, don't be surprised if it does, if he could get in some type of trouble for this shit. You know, um, you know why wouldn't the, the Sheffield, uh, you know, police or, you know, uh, legal system want to investigate this? You got to... Somebody in England doing hardcore drugs on video, it appears, you know. So, um, you know, just just disappointing, man. Uh, you know, Kill could have achieved a lot more in his career than he did. You know, he was not a, a bust. He did become a world champion in, in a tough fight on the road. You know, had some defenses, made some good money. You know, challenged Triple G. Uh, you know, he got in with Crawford. You know, he had the con fight. Uh, you know, he had some, some big nights in his career, man, but, um, uh, you know, really Kell Brooks should, uh, be a candidate for the International Boxing Hall of Fame. He should be a, 
you know, multi-weight world champion, uh, possibly, you know, at, at 54 and 60 also. And uh, he did not achieve those things, man. You know, after the Kill Brook fight, he was he was inactive. He had some, you know, disappointments leading up to that with inactivity and, and such. And, uh, you know, the, the guy could have achieved more than, than he did. Um, and in retirement, he talked about how he's missed the sport, you know, and possibly wanted to come back or whatever. But, you know, this was a, a big hit to his brand. And, uh, you know, more, I would say more importantly, um, yeah, while I'm, I'm not really feeling sorry for him because, you know, he's grown, he put himself in that situation, but I feel, I feel bad for his, uh, for his, his girls, man, his girls and his wife, they have to answer this man could be ridiculed for the rest of their lives over this man. And, uh, he put them in a bad position, man. He really did. You know, his kids are, you know, in school, going to be in school and, um, you know, just going to, going to follow him and haunt them, man could be teased over this type of shit, you know, so, you know, I, I feel, um, I feel bad for them, um, that that's what I feel the worst for in the situation, so, you know, really, that's it, guys, some quick words from me, uh, disappointing, uh, you know, a, a, a bit shocked, I won't say, I, I wasn't jaw drop shocked, I just had, I was had to watch it several times to, for it to register, you know, but, um, this disappointing, um, and uh, if if the guy has a, you know an issue, uh, you know hopefully he he gets those issues worked out, whether it be rehab, counseling, whatever. And uh, you know that let's see if some legal shit plays out, man. It, it could. So really, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about it, and uh, I'll check in soon. Thanks for watching.